Hello and welcome to another Masters of Disney Adventures Disney News and Chat video where we basically talk about everything that's been going on in the world of Disney. So what have we got first, Katie? Um, so we've got um, parking lot trams have re- well, they are returning this month, which is exciting. Yeah. I think a lot of people rely on those, so yeah. it's good to see them back. It'll be handy for people who don't want to walk. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's because the capacity is um, increasing now, isn't it? So yeah. parking lots are filling up more and more so they're having to bring the old trams out again and yeah. dust them off. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Probably got cobwebs and all going on them. I used to love going on that with you, so yeah. Do the little toot toot when they go. Beep beep. <laughs> yeah. Mind you, it wasn't so easy to get a buggy on there. You could, you could do it. We did it a few times, didn't we? But it was. Uh, it's not worth it. Well, the folding the buggy, wasn't it? Yeah. But if we don't take the buggy this year, then we'll Which probably use it. We'll probably not. So. Yeah. Depends. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we might not take the buggy. Yeah. No. So yeah, it's uh, it's just part of the Disney day, isn't it? Mm. For those who use the Disney transport, like the buses and the monorail and all that, probably <laughs> don't really, uh, not really bothered about them. But when you're no. driving in using the parking areas, then yeah, it's. Uh, I don't know, it's just that traditional start to the yeah. Disney day, isn't it? <laughs> and it's, yeah, even if you don't use it, oh. it's still part of your day, isn't it? You still have, see it go past you when you're walking from your car or, yeah. you know. I imagine it's good, like, the end of the day, if you've been on your feet all day walking around yeah. the past, just to sit down and get taken to your car. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> as long as, of course, you remember correctly which row you're in. <laughs> well, there is that. <laughs> Always take a photo yeah. of the row and the name of the area that you're in. Or if in doubt, set your uh, horn off like the American cars Yeah, do but that. when you're going back at the dead of night after the fireworks and everyone's doing the same thing, it ain't gonna, huh, it ain't gonna work. <laughs> like, which one was mine? Beep, 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 like going off all... Or was that the tram? <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so yeah, we're glad to see that back. We'll probably use it this time, right? Yeah, probably more than we did last time. What do you guys think? Do you use the uh, Disney trams? If so, would you be glad to see them back? Let us know. And other news then, so rock and roller roller coaster, rock, roller, roller, rock and roller coaster. Oh, Aerosmith. Yeah. Um, <laughs> had some smoke appear. It had to be evacuated because smoke was seen apparently. So. Was it um, also face the fairy godmother appearing? I with wouldn't a puff know. Of smoke? <laughs> <laughs> That's only at Magic Kingdom. Oh yeah, yeah. sorry, yeah, wrong park. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as if that ride wasn't scary enough as it is. It's not scary. Uh, I don't know. I, I've i never been on it because I'm yeah, a bit of a ride wimp, unfortunately. Oh, wimp, yes. <laughs> you had that right. But that bit where it glitters off. That's the best that part. Bit. Is it? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it wouldn't be the same ride without that part. But I'm guessing the smoke wasn't... Yeah, that's not meant to be there, the smoke. No, no, no. I didn't think so. No. Hence why the ride was evacuated. Yes. Yeah, but since it's open again, so hopefully all is okay. And you get over Norris straight away, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Who knows what that was? There's not been no further reports hopefully, as to what it was. Yeah, yeah. No one. Well, I, no one would have got injured because mm. they would have all been back. Imagine like if you were having to go be going around the loop to loop bit, and then they like pulled the, they stopped it, and you're like hanging upside pulled down. Pulled the plug, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they wouldn't do that. <laughs> Did it? They'd have to slow it down and bring it back in slowly. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's not. Yeah. It's probably not the best ride to be evacuated from. No. Yeah. <laughs> that or Space Mountain. I heard they were supposed to be re-closing that and re. Well, renaming re it. And it. Yeah, rebranding it. That's the word. Yeah, rebranding. Or new overlay, as they say. Taking the Aerosmith thing a part of it away, weren't they? Mm. Mm. To, yeah. I'm sure that'll pop up <clears> in one of our news stories one day. Was you on it? If so, let us know. Were Were you on it? Were you on it? <laughs> Was you on it? <laughs> it's English. too late in the day for English, the, for correct grammar. <laughs> <laughs> and then moving on. So uh, last week, um, some of you may have seen that uh, last week was declared, one of the days was declared as uh, Walt Disney World Day to mark its 50th anniversary. Um, the Mayor Buddy Dyer, Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer and Deputy Mayor, was it Jerry L. Demings? Jerry L. Demings. Both there, and they declared it as uh, Walt Disney World Day throughout the Orlando area in Is Central that Florida. To celebrate, so will they celebrate that every year? Yeah, presumably, yeah. So it's a new holiday. Mm. 
<laughs> throughout Orlando anyway. Yes. Is that to, because of the 50th anniversary? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So it's a nice way to, basically, or obviously Disney World is a major part of Orlando, isn't it? Obviously, yes. Yeah. Would there be an Orlando, much of an Orlando without it? Maybe, maybe not. Yeah. Universal. <laughs> Gatorland. <laughs> Oh, the thrift they, shops. The Gatorland years ago. Huh? NASA. That's not Orlando, it's outside. It's still <laughs> Central Florida. Yeah, it's more the uh, Atlantic coast. All right, Mr. Geography. See where I lack in grammar, I'm going to gain in geography. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so it's uh, rather nice, obviously, a nice way to hmm. honour Disney World. I mean, you can tell it's a major part of Orlando when you step into the, their major airports. So. Well, yeah, when they, <clears throat> especially at the minute. Mm, that's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Can't really miss it, can you? No, exactly. <laughs> well, from what we've seen anyway. <laughs> what we will see. Yes. I hope. <laughs> we will. We are going. And then moving on. So a new uh, chair of the board of Walt Disney World Company has been announced as Susan Arnold. So he, obviously she succeeds um, Bob Iger. A Iger. Iger. I don't know, I didn't really hear much about Bob Iger really, did we? So I presume he, uh, he was a good director, chair of the board. Um, yeah. Well, hopefully, well, yeah. Hopefully Susan Arnold will be a good one too. Yeah, hopefully she'll bring good things. Mm. And, uh, Sort Bob Boss's face the other one out. I wasn't going to mention him, <laughs> Mr. Chapik. Chapik, Chapstick, <laughs> Bob Chapstick. Yeah. Sort him out. Tell him. I imagine you... not because he's the CEO. <laughs> you say this, but sometimes they have influence. Yeah, you never know. And he might listen to her. Maybe she'll get rid of Genie Plus. Although she probably doesn't have that uh, much power. She said, she ha 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 hoo 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 She should. That wasn't any language I understood. <laughs> <laughs> she absolutely should take away Genie Plus. Not Genie, maybe. Genie might be helpful. We'll let you know. She should just stop all of it. Hmm. We know a way around Disney World, we'll be fine. Exactly, we can just, we don't need just Genie, keep, we don't keep, need Genie Plus, we just need... Keep, if you're listening, Susan, keep, <laughs> keep Pass Pass Plus. So yeah, also, um, they have, I mean, we knew about a couple of these things, but they've announced, well, they've started two more of the, um, well, they, the official name is the Disney Photo Pass Super Zoom Magic shots so the ones where they like zoom in or zoom out mm. and then you're there and then it kind of shows off the big picture so they mm. do one we know the one at the f um under the falcon yeah in um galaxy's, galaxy's edge. edge yeah um and the one by the castle and the one by the castle mm. yeah but they've also announced two more mm. or sh they're doing two more so there's one in all of each park now there's one in every park so mm. it'd be good to go and find them there's one at, um, so the one in Animal Kingdom is kind of around near the sort of pavilion area of um, where Expedition Everest is in yeah. Animal Kingdom. And then also there's one underneath the um, Spaceship Earth or the Epcot Ball. That'd be a good <laughs> one to have, yeah, especially if it's lit up. Oh my God, imagine doing that one in the evening at yeah, night time. With if all it the works <laughs> in the evening. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> It'd be nice if it did. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you have to let us know if you think you're definitely go and do those ones I know we probably will or have you already or yeah have you already <laughs> yeah that would be good to see we would definitely be testing those I'm sure they were around when we were there last time but we didn't, really we didn't know get about the opportunity them. to yeah all that we were sort of whizzing around weren't we from fast pass <laughs> to fast pass <laughs> yeah we'll be able to take a bit more of a relaxed we'll approach to time. Disney World yeah. this time so we'll be photo passing to the max I think hopefully yeah Using that photo pass that we pay for <laughs> within need, our ticket. We need them for Instagram for a start. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> How can we tell you guys what we're up to yeah. all day, every day? Exactly. Let us know. Let us know. Yeah, if you've you done, done them, you do are it? they fun? How do they work? Have you done them all? Will you do them all? Mm. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> 
And then last bit of fun news, just to kind of finish off on a really nice light-hearted note. It would have been Walt Disney himself's birthday today. And that's on today, which being the Sunday the 5th of December. Um, at, and it would have been his 120th, had he still been yeah. with us. He was born 1901. That's bonkers. Oh. Absolutely bonkers. Mm. So, yeah. Happy birthday, Walt. <laughs> Definitely. And thing? thank you for all that you've done for <laughs> yeah. us as a community. <laughs> If it wasn't for you, then we wouldn't get to do what we're doing now. And the world would not be as magic as it is. No. Yeah. I would be able to wear awesome ears <laughs> for Christmas. Yeah. Have awesome new watch straps. Yeah. Have awesome new earrings. <laughs> that was just a chance to show everything yeah. you bought. Yeah. <laughs> well, I did buy these today. So where did you get your watch strap from, Katie? This was from Typo. And they had a really cool offer. On. I know we're completely going off on tangent now. <laughs> Happy birthday, Walt Disney. Uh, and in other news, um, yeah, no, this is from Typo, and they had a really cool um, offer. They had like little advent calendars behind the thing. I hope it was this next year's. I did actually double check that. I would imagine it would be. Um, uh, yeah, normally six pounds, but they had it for a pound. Mm. They had a Star Wars one there, so I picked that one up. Bargain. Mm. So yeah, that was. Where I got that from. These are enough for a while, aren't they, on Shop Disney? Oh yeah, these are only okay. nine pounds right now. Mm. These are last year's, mm. but if you like them and you fancy them, yeah, nine pounds at the moment. Get on there. Well, they were as of when we were filming this, <laughs> so they might still be there. They might not. Still get. <laughs> and then I got my cute little earrings, which I'm going to show you guys. Cute little earrings, and they're from. Actually, I need to get the card. I think they are from a shop called Nikki Makes, but I will just have a look. Uh, so yeah, they're from a company called Infinities by Nikki. They are on Etsy, are they? On Etsy. Mm. So yeah, and they were so cheap, <laughs> and they're so cute, and they're nice and light, which is good. They're like heavy earrings. Mm. Nothing works. So yeah. So, happy birthday, Walt Disney. So, yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Walt Disney. <laughs> so, that's all we got for today. Thank you for watching. And don't forget, if you enjoyed, then please give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't already, consider subscribing. We've got, like we said, like we say every week, because <laughs> we're still counting down. We've got Orlando <laughs> Vlogs coming soon. So, well, in April. So, it's not too long away. Yeah, it'll soon come. <laughs> As long as this new variant doesn't get in our way. <laughs> and of course we're going to, going to be carrying on with these uh, weekly news videos. And um, we're also going to be doing, which is long overdue, what like, what we've been promising for a while, is our uh, preparation vlogs. So we'll be dropping a few videos in here and there, how we're getting ready for Florida, just in case you were wondering, which <laughs> we all do. Uh, yeah, so. And welcome to Christmas month. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> See you again. See you next time. Bye. Bye.